This video is going to teach you how to solo golden trophy. This is one of the first quests that came out in Rec Room and we are going to be teaching you how to do it, whether it spawns, locations and where to be when they spawn, and just tips and tricks overall. This is an updated one from my last one which will be linked down below if you want to see that one. The reason why I'm doing an updated one is because there's a quiet mic and this one's a much louder mic and there'll be more tips and tricks for you. Without further ado, let's get started. I'll put you guys into POV and I'll tell you what to do. So, you are in the, the, the pre-lobby, you want yourself to get a bow. The reason why I don't go for swords is because they're good, but they don't have any range. Like, if you see this pot over there, pretend there's an enemy, you can shoot the pot way before it gets to you. That's why I like the bow better. And if you know how to double shot, uh, this will be really easy. Since... You can just kill the goblins really fast. But for the sake of this video, I will not be double shot in. So I can show the people who do not know how to double shot that it's possible without the double shot. So, let's get into it. So we are in Act 1. Once you pass this line where I'm shooting, you will spawn two ground goblins. They are the normal goblins. Like so. These guys... They can't get you if you just go off on a box. These little chihuahuas or whatever you call them, they can't get you. So it'll take full, two full power shots to kill them. And you can just like do some parkour if you if you want to. Alright, moving on. If you go around here on that little triggers volume, you spawn four more ground goblins. One there and like two at the back and one there. Again, if these guys are overwhelming you, there's a crate or like table up here. You can just take these guys out. Like so. And little bonus tip for you. You do not need to get any of these pots to get S rank. I've done many speed ones in the past without collecting any pots and I've still got S rank. So moving forward. When you get around like halfway through this, uh, whatever you call it, floor, you spawn four more. Again, there's these crates you can hop up to to take these out. Like so. Now this uh, this little room here, when you enter this area, you spawn two of these guys, two ground goblins on this side and one normal one on this side and then once you kill all of those you spawn two on either side for the last wave again what I like to do is you can just hop up on this box and they can't get you and then you get the last spawn and boom you're done with the first act Let's go into the second one. Moving up into like this little area, you spawn two flyers. These flyers will shoot one fireball and will always aim for your head. So if they do shoot, you can just slide your head left or right or duck. Again, two full power shots to kill them. And then once you get past this curtain, you spawn one flyer there, two in that cove, and one right here. What I like to do is you can run to this little area and get a few pop shots out. So I'll just show you an example. You just run. There's also a crossbow here if you want it. But we use on a bow. So you just take shots. Sometimes we like to hide in corners. And boom, you're done with that bit. Not too bad. Moving up to here, you'll spawn two more flies. Pretty easy. Just take them out. Like so. And this is the room that is quite fun because you get spawns everywhere around this room. Once you enter around, there's like a diagonal spawn here. Once you get past that line, you'll get two goblins. A flyer. I think another fly there. And a goblin there. So here we go. I like to take out the flyers since they're the only ones can, that can hit you if you are standing on these sofas. Again, they can't get you if you're up here. So take them out. 
And then once you take this guy out, you'll get two runners and two flies on this cove here, a fly here, and the goblin here, and a fly there. So here's where my tip for you is just to fall back on this one. It's going to get spawns everywhere. Just take a few pop shots. And make sure you don't stand here, because if you kill all but two of these these guys in this wave, you'll spawn two flyers here, and you'll just spawn the last wave over there, so you need to watch out. Standing by the cast, this is probably the best place to be. So you get those two guys, and you also get another flyer over there, and some more goblins. I just double shot it, whoops. Just have these two flies left. And boom, you are done with the second act. Not so bad. You are doing great. Alright, for this one, you get a lot of goblins, but that is fine because you have a boulder here. That's why it's here. You can just knock them all down and hopefully get a strike. Not like I did. Now, you can bring this boulder down. All you like, you can bring it to the next bit. And once you get over here, you'll spawn two flies and three ground goblins. Again, you have a lot of space between you to dodge. That fly is just being stupid. Right. Once you walk down into this area, you will spawn three flies up on top. What I like to do is I like to hide behind this like bench make sure you don't go past some barrels however because you'll spawn the next wave now when they are close enough you can get a few pop shots off because then you won't be missing then once you pass these barrels you'll get four more flies up here just pop a shot on all of them so they were stunned like so and for the last wave you'll get like six more ground goblins over here so you have this long hallway to work yourself in. If they're coming too close, you can just run away, get a few pop shots, run away, and so forth. But it's not too bad. This is the level that starts to get fun. This is where you have to listen a bit more closely. Act 4. Once you get into this bit, you will spawn like you spawn five ground goblins over here. You have this long hallway again. If you feel like you're getting overwhelmed, you can just make your way back to the start. You have so much space back at the start. Now once you take those guys out, you'll get two goblins over yonder, two goblins over here, and three over here. They're getting a bit too close to me, so I'm going to work my way back. Like so. And then once you take that wave out, you're going to get two more ground goblins and some four flyers on the lava. This is why you need your bow to take out the flies. There's one. There's two. There's three. And then once you take this one out, we're going to get three more flyers across the lava. Two goblins over there and one over yonder. So let's just take this one out. If it shows itself, please. Thank you. Ah, double shot it again. Alright. <laughs> um, once you take all of these goblins out, you're going to get a barrel, a green barrel knight spawning here, and you're going to get one spawning over in that cove over there. What I like to do is I like to stand here, and as it's falling, I just take shots as it falls, and then we should be able to kill it. Another good way to kill these guys in this level is to use pots. You can fling the pots, or you can fling the barrels. If you hit these guys in the backs with the pots, you can fling them to the lava like this. Poor oh, I missed. But you get the point. If I try again, you can just go like that. But that didn't work. Four shots will take out these guys. And once you take this guy out, you're going to get barrel 
literally spawning there. Some goblins either this side or this side and three more flies across the lava. So here's where it's going to get a little bit real. So once you take this out, just take it out as it's falling down. If you're fast enough. If you're not, again, just use the space. Take out the goblins and then if you like stand in this area where the fly can't see, they'll wait, wait, work their way towards you. Or at least they should. Uh, you can, no need to be frightened. You can just walk ahead and they won't do anything to you. Alright. Act 5, this is one where it gets a little bit crazier because we're going to get introduced to some new enemies. You can either choose the left or the right. I personally go on the right because there is a wave you can skip on this side. That skips a bunch of guys, which is good. But I'm going to be doing that side as well for the sake of the video. So there's two goblins up on stage and if you anger them or if they see you, you'll spawn two flies in the room. And once you enter the room, you'll spawn a red flyer in the back corner over there. These flyers shoot five in like a horizontal direction like this. Again, the middle one always aims through your head, so you can just slide your height head left or right or duck. These take full three power shots to kill these guys. Once you take this one out, you're gonna get another one on this the other side. Like so. If you cross either this line or cross this line, you are gonna spawn three goblins in this exiting area. Not that bad to deal with. And do not start this wave. If you cross here, you'll spawn the wave. I prefer not to start it yet because you might get overwhelmed. You'll, you'll have four goblins in this room. As long as you don't enter the room, you don't need to do the the way. This two waves. So I'm gonna do it for the points and for the video. So when you enter the room, you're gonna get two red goblins over here. Again, these goblins take. Four three full power shots and they do not get stunned by your arrows but they do get stunned by any other thing basically so three full power shots to kill them and once you take this one out you're gonna get two red goblins on this side and a couple red goblins over here so again i'll just stay up here it's like the best place to be and then you have your three normal goblins kill now this is good because if you do get overwhelmed you have this massive space to cover but uh, you can also go back there if you need to so walking on when you spawn this wave you'll get three red runners and three red flyers the red runners move pretty far so i prioritize them first And if they are overwhelming you, you can just run back. And you have this massive platform here to deal with. And then once you take out all the red runners, you have this long way to deal with. And these flyers are stupid, they have zero IQ and they shoot when they see you on the corner and they all just hit the wall like so. Once you take two of the red flyers, um, you spawn two green goblins, taking them out will give you two more red flyers back at the end. So take this out and you'll get two more red flyers at the end. Again, corners are your best friend because as you see all the fireballs are just getting smacked by the wall. Act 6, this is the hardest act in my opinion because there are spawns basically everywhere and there's nowhere to run. So starting off, you'll get two red flyers on the stage. Just take them out. Once you take these out, you will get four red runners on the stage. Once you take this flyer out, I you would need to go on that bookcase. This is like the safest thing to do. 
just run and get on this bookcase. They are basically, you're basically untouchable up here by these guys. Once you take this red goblin out, you're going to get two flyers on this side. And it's a bit dynamic. You can have some goblins on this side or this side. You can have them all on this side. You can have them all on that side. You can have half and half. But you always get the two flyers up here. So I prioritize the flyers first while staying up here. Again, if they, if they shoot, you can just tilt your head left or right or duck. And then here you have more goblins to deal with. And once you take this guy out, you're going to get four red runners again, two at the starting bit and two in this little cove over here. I like to take them out as they're falling. Once you take this guy out, you're going to get two red barrels. Things that are different about these runners that are different from the green runners. The green barrels is that they spin instead of charge at you, so you need to stand back. And again, these bookshelves are best for these guys. If you stand in like the middle anyway, if you stand on the edge, you might risk dying. These guys take five full power shots to kill. If you can try and get a couple shots as it's spinning, then that'll be great. So... You can also hit his like little horn and he'll do some damage sometimes. The hit the hitbox is kind of weird, so you can't get it all the time. Once you take this barrel out, though, here's where it starts to get crazy. You'll get a lot of runners, a red barrel in that corner, and two flyers. Everything except from the red barrel spawning it is dynamic. You'll get two, no, three red runners. You get two normal goblins and you get two red flyers. They can spawn even that corner, that corner, that corner, that corner, that corner. So, my tip for you is to prioritize on flyers or staying on the bookshelf. It may be a bit hard if you are getting overwhelmed. You can always, another tip for you is you can just like alternate between the book, the stage and the floor. You can just like hop on the floor and then when they start getting down the ramp, you can hop on the stage. It's a pretty good way to handle the situation but if you can do it this situation then that'll be good so let's take this guy out look for the flies I got pretty lucky and got both of these flies over here that leaves me the rest of these guys just have this guy now Just like that, you've done the hardest stage. Now, if you want extra points, make sure the level is still going. Because if the level finishes, you will not be able to spawn these two red guys if you enter this cave. The level's finished and I can't spawn them. But if the level's still going on, and if you walk into this area, you'll spawn two red goblins in this area. So watch out for them. So, moving into Act 7. Once you, once you appear yourself to that corner, to that little area over there, you'll spawn two flies and two red runners. You have these walls here for a reason. You can use them to your advantage. They normally just, the flies just normally fall down, but if you can get them like so, then that's good. Once you take three of these enemies down, you'll get two red normal goblins, I mean. Here they are. And you've done with the first two waves of the level. Once you enter the stream, you'll spawn a couple runners, a couple flies. I don't know the count, but I think it's like four runners and three flies. If you take like half of the wave out, you'll get some like a fly and two more runners. The best thing to do in this situation is to run up on this little platforming and you have this wall to protect yourself.
And you get two more flies and a runner. And a nice little tip for you, just a little head start. If you kill the flyer and the fireball hits your face, it will not kill you. I'll give you an example. So it's shot, it's dead, and the fireball will not kill me because it's dead, which is a good little addition. Walking up along, you'll get one red flyer. Killing it will take two more green flyers. Let's take it out. Here you have your two red normal flyers. Taking it out will give you three normal goblins on this side. And when you take these goblins out, you will get two flyers and two green goblins. They can either spawn on this side or this side. So watch out for both of your sides. Looks like we got a pretty even spawn here. Pff, I nearly died. Let's take this guy out. Oof. Now when you walk around here, there is like a 50% chance to spawn a red goblin here. Looks like we got it. But no worries because there is like an invisible barrier here where it can't get you. So you are free just to shoot it. Here you have a red, not a red goblin, a green barrel knight. This is a bit hard to deal with in this corner, but what I like to do is anger it and run in this little area here. Put a shot, go behind it, and kill it. You also have the 50% chance when you cross here to spawn a red goblin here and two goblins over here. If that's the case, you will get a red goblin over here and taking out one of these green ones here will spawn another red goblin. It looks like we got it. And then when you take one of these guys out, you'll get another red goblin. Here is where you get a little bit overwhelmed because you get three red goblins up on here. And then when you anger these guys, you'll get two red flyers on top of that. So what I would like to do for you guys is to anger them. What? Get a few pop shots and run. Run to that inf run to that barrier that I told you earlier. Because they cannot go through it either. The barrier's like around here. They can't reach you. Yeah. Yeah, look. They can't get you here. And then here comes the flyers. And when you take one of these two flyers, you will get... Another red flyer. So be careful when you look around the corners. It might be across here. Get it. There it is. And you're done with Act 7. Moving on into Act 8. Right. This is also a very dynamic act because there's also spawns everywhere but the best strat to do in this situations is when you kill all these guys at spawn you get like around four normal ones and one not red one you can run up here and you're basically untouchable by all the runners anyway and once you kill this first wave you get two red goblins and like a lot of green runners they can't touch you once again so you can just shoot them, you can just mess with them a bit, mess with these little chihuahuas. Once you take this last guy out, you'll get two red flies and two normal flies. They can either all spawn over there, they can either all spawn over there, it can be half and half, one and three, you get the point. So if you do get a lot of flies on this side, be prepared to run off this. Okay, we only got one of them. That leaves three of them down here. You are going to get a lot of fireballs your way. Remember, you have this nice pillar here to protect you from any scenario. And then once you take 
these guys out, you will get four red runners. They can either all spawn in this area. You can either all spawn in this area. One and three, two and two. You get the point. So let's take this one out and get the runners. We've got one on this side that leaves three on this side. You can take a few pop shots as I come on over. And then once you take the sky out, you're going to get two red barrels, one in this cove and one in the starting area. Try and take one out before the other one gets to you. Again, if you can, you can use these pots to knock them over, but it's a bit risky. Yeah, we just got one down. And for these guns, you can just go close to them, activate and just run away. Activate, run away. Get some shots in, activate, run away. Get some shots in. And then once you take this guy out, you're going to basically get the same wave. But instead, we have a green barrel in this area and a green barrel over there. And you're also going to get a red flyer over here and here. So take out the red flyer if you can. Try and avoid a red barrel, a green barrel. Take the flyers out. And you have this quite long hallway to deal with these guys. Which is really good. Make sure they don't kill you. Just anger them. So, once you take this goblin out, this red barrel here's where I'm gonna start running back to this little safety pillar I mentioned earlier. Because you're going to get two red flies, two red goblins, three normal goblins, and a red barrel spawning there. The rest of them will just be your dynamic around the place. So again, I would like to focus on the flies. You can just make it rain on them. These little chihuahuas don't know how to do this. Where do you think you're going, bro? Come back. can even mess with these guys. Just like that. And a little secret for you guys, there is a basketball located under here. So there are two hoops in the area, in the act, where you can have a go at shooting it. That was a terrible shot, but you can try and hit your trick shots over here. Now we are at the finale. Here's where you'll encounter a big guy. What I'd like to do is I'd just like to come up this ladder and run. Use these balls as an advantage. Now, we want to get over to this side while I'm shooting. But we didn't want to stay there on the first wave. Because if you summon the first wave, you might get some spawns over there if you're lucky. Or unlucky, I guess. The spawns are quite dynamic for most of them. So you have to take like two shots in this guy until you summon the first wave. So that's the first shot. And when you take the second shot, you might get some stuff over there. You're also going to get a green barrel for every wave of these three. Here we go. Yeah. This is why I don't want to go over there. You're also going to get a green barrel, so watch out. And you're also going to get a red flyer. I like to take all the waves out before I continue fighting the boss. Alright. Now we can... Oh, now we can make our way over here. Use this little wall as a little post. Yeah. I'm just doing, I'm nearly done the tutorial. If you shoot this guy like four more times, it's spawn in the second wave. That's the second shot. And then the second wave will spawn some flies over there, all down in that little area in the ramp. You will also spawn a red, a, a green barrel here, and you spawn some goblins over there. You also spawn another couple red guys. Come on, turn around, big doofus. One more shot. Oh, I, I don't think I can do it. There we go. Take this barrel as it falls down, because... 
he didn't want this barrel to be here on this corner. Uh, might take this red belt, take this red goblin now. Make sure you do. Make sure you do not expose yourself to these flies over here. Make sure you hide behind the wall so the flies can't get you. And then the flies will just wipe away towards you. Right. Need about three or four more shots to summon the last wave. This one is going to be a little bit more insane, but you should be able to handle it. You'll get another green barrel in the same place that it spawned, and you'll get three red runners that can spawn anywhere, and you'll get some flowers down there. Some red flowers to be exact. Wow, you don't see me, bro. Okay, no hit fire. Be careful to not fall down here. If you do, any unfortunate situation has come. Use this pillar as a little advantage. And then you can get back here. Up. You can get back up. Just wait for this big doofus to turn around. No. Come on, you big dum dum. Just want a double shot so bad. Alright, one more shot should be able to spawn the last wave. Here we go. Take that as it's falling. Take the red goblin as it's falling. And you'll get some flies over there. Remember to not expose yourself to the flies. Hide behind this wall and I'll walk the way towards you. Here they are. That's one, and that's two. You're basically done. You just need to put like three more shots in the sky, and then you're done. One more shot, one more shot, and then you're done. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. There we go, our S rank, as you see. Right, I hope that gave you some lessons on how to solo golden trophy. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment down your thoughts, and share this video with a friend. This is all going to help me a lot, and we'll see you in Jumbotron.